Globalization is a civilization in the making. Civilization has always been designed by elites. And the tendency of elites has always been to feel that if it just covers themselves and maybe the top 10 or 20 percent, it's all right. If globalization doesn't create the space required for those who are excluded to come in, does not give them the instruments, the tools with which to prosper, they will be left out as orphans. And these orphans will end up bringing civilization down. Hernando de Soto is an award-winning author and economist. He is an advocate for the economic potential of the poor to lift their countries out of poverty. His life has become a quest to understand the roots of poverty and to do something about it. If we want to make globalization available to everyone, we have to understand what it is. One can have an image of globalization being, for example, a ship with containers full of apples coming in from the United States to China. But if we look at the apples inside that container, there's nothing in those apples that say who owns it. A stolen apple looks exactly like an apple that I own. There's nothing in the apple that tells you that this apple is mine, that it can be sold, that it can be bought, that it can be rented, that it can be leased, that it can be mortgaged, that it can serve as a guarantee. About a hundred operations that you can do with an apple to globalize it are not contained in the apple. What gives the apple its global attributes is the law. It is the law that says what it is that the apple can do and how it can be transferred. In other words, globalization is not about apples. We've always had apples. Globalization is about the relationships we can create between ourselves to have large amounts of apple go from one place to another with a scale such that productivity, that benefits for everybody, will go up. Globalization is essentially the product of the rule of law, and it's a rule of law that is really only accessible to one-third of the world's population.